It's a tough loss. You know, I, I, I like the way our guys competed for a stretch there. I told them after the game, you know, seven or eight minutes of that defense will get you a win. Uh, I don't know why we can't get it to be a 40-minute consistent effort with that energy and activity on the defensive end. And until we do that, you know, um, all the other stuff doesn't make much difference. Uh, you know, it, we came in knowing that we had to get stops. We came in knowing that we needed to pick up our defensive intensity and, and try and get them out of their rhythm. And obviously, they shot 50% from three. And, you know, some of them were in transition. Some were open looks, but they, you know, ran their stuff and they're an unselfish team and they, they know what they're looking for. Um, you know, uh, obviously normally they don't shoot that great a percentage. Um, they had a couple of guys make four or five and uh, it was just too much to overcome um, today. I, I liked how he rebounded the ball, um, but that kept us in the basketball game. Yeah, I mean, I just said we had to compete. I mean, the, the game wasn't over. If we got defensive stops and then got good shots, you never know what might happen. And that's exactly what transpired. You know, we we got the defensive stops on the other end, and we didn't get, we didn't score it every time, but at least we got some good shots. You know, we got away the basket, or you know, maybe got fouled and didn't make some. We missed some free throws when we had a chance to cut in their lead. Um, but yeah, it's never comforting to have Tally and uh, Devontae on the bench with four fouls with that much time to go down that much. Um, but, you know, and, and, and they could have let down, they could let their guard down a little bit. Um, but our guys definitely picked it up, and I, I was proud of that, that effort. What was it like just not having to dwell that first game without 12? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it is what it is. It was difficult, you know. I mean, not having another body in there, an active body defensively, especially he has great feet. Uh, he's one of our best perimeter defenders. But you know, we had to go forward, and uh, that's what we did. And didn't really even worry about that at the time. You know, we were worrying about playing Furman and trying to get five guys out there on the court that could defend the way we want them to defend. Obviously, shooting three pointers is, is kind of what they do. A yes. Bit, but are you are you worried that as time goes on, people are going to see that maybe they can hit some three pointers against you? People aren't going to change their styles, um, you know, through game by game. You know, some some teams shoot a lot of threes, some teams don't. Um, you know, what we need to do is make sure we do a better job of cutting down their percentage when we play teams that shoot a lot of threes. Um, but they had good spacing. Um, you know, they had four guards most times out there, um, one big guy. But uh, you know, they executed what they need to execute to get the win, and we did not do what we need to do to get the win. Yeah, you know, it's 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 frustrating at times. Um, you know, um, we're inconsistent at times. We got inexperienced guys playing with some experienced guys, but at some point they got to draw a line in the sand and, and get stops. You know, guard your man to the best of your ability, whatever it takes to get a stop. Are you worried about keeping them confident and focused? When it's losing streaks hit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, anytime you hit a losing streak, you worry about their confidence and how they're going to react to certain things. But you know. Um, you know, we worry about a lot of things. Uh, what you got to do is just deal with it and and talk to them about it and and, and try and go forward.